optimize your blasting. The efficiency of blasting is often measured by the coverage area achieved in a given time. Blasting is a time consuming and physically demanding process and anything that the operator can use to enable them to work more effectively is important to consider. This is the blasting media and air mix defines the blasting process. Optimizing the air pressure, speed and abrasive content is vital if the blasting process is to be considered out efficiently. Although the variables associated with the process are limited, compressor output, port pressure, media valve setting, hose length, nozzle size, etc. Understanding how to optimize these variables is vitally important. Abrasive blast machine systems are designed to provide the optimum pressure and flow of both air and blast media through the blast nozzle. Ensuring that both the pressure and speed of airflow and the abrasive media mix at the nozzle are set correctly will provide the ideal conditions for efficient blasting. To generate the ideal blast nozzle pressure require a basic understanding of effect of using a large compressor capacity CFM and the effect of increasing or decreasing the nozzle size. Compressor capacity As a general rule, a higher compressor capacity in CFM generate higher nozzle pressure and air speeds resulting in the opportunity to increase blasting efficiency. For example, if 100 psi is set as a nozzle pressure to generate optimum productivity, then the nozzle pressure of 80 psi will result in 66% blasting efficiency and the nozzle pressure of just 60 psi will result in 50% blasting efficiency. Such productivity reductions are quite significant and it is important to fully appreciate how the correct equipment choice can increase the effectiveness of your blasting. In an example above, increasing the nozzle pressure from 60 to 100 psi will result in the operator being able to double their efficiency and double their work speed. Using a higher compressor capacity also provides the opportunity to reduce grid consumption as explained below. It is in inevitable that a large capacity compressor will use more fuel. However, when blast time can be halved, the additional fuel cost become insignificant. The above example shows how optimizing the equipment setting is critical to the performance. This is a function of both compressor capacity and blast machine setting. The nozzle pressure system, system pressure, airflow and compressor capacity are all linked by a simple mathematical equation. Put simply, using a higher capacity compressor will generate higher systems and nozzle pressure and also higher media speed resulting in the opportunity to use bigger nozzle size and thus achieve more efficient blasting area coverage. Nozzle size Using larger nozzle orifice sizes produce a greater blast coverage area but require a greater air capacity to power the nozzle. A smaller nozzle size will typically produce a narrower blast pattern and consume less air. To maximize the potential benefit of using a larger nozzle diameter, it is essential to supply the nozzle with the correct air media mix at sufficient speed and pressure. The choice of nozzle is therefore determined by the available airflow produced by the compressor. If a larger nozzle is chosen, then to blast effectively, a higher air capacity is required. The table below shows the correlation between volume of air, nozzle size and nozzle pressure and is often used in the industry to select nozzle size. It is a real benefit is to select the optimum nozzle size for the nozzle pressure required to carry out the job. If user requires a nozzle pressure of 100 psi for optimum blasting and is using half inch that is 8 number nozzle diameter then they would need a 340 CFM rated compressor. If a 222 CFM compressor was used then the resultant nozzle pressure using the same 8 number nozzle would be reduced from 100 psi to 60 psi meaning the blasting efficiency would be reduced by 50 percent. Blast Emission Efficiency The air capacity, nozzle size and nozzle pressure equation also suggests that blast efficiency will increase further if nozzle pressures above 100 psi are used. Increasing the air capacity from 340 CFM to 430 CFM then using the same 8 number nozzle will generate 125 psi at the nozzle resulting in the increase in blasting efficiency of 37 percentage above that obtained from the 340 CFM compressor. It is at this point where the pressure capacity of the abrasive blasting machines now become increasingly important. Due to the system losses, blast loss leakages and flex connections, internal friction efficiency etc. 
using an abrasive blast machine with a maximum pore capacity of as low as, low as 120 psi or 150 psi will significantly restrict the nozzle pressure cap capability and may result in nozzle pressure being limited to significantly below 100 psi. This can result is up to 50 percent reduction in the blast efficiency. It's for this reason that contractors offers two abrasive blast machine pressure ranges. The standard model has a pressure capacity of 180 psi, which, when using the correct compressor, can significantly higher nozzle pressure and thus increase the blast efficiency by as much as 50 percent above that possible when using the 150 psi rated abrasive blasting machine. Hose length and conditions. Where long hose lengths are necessary, customers also offer a range of high pressure abrasive blast machine which have a maximum working pressure of 225 psi. Due to the inherent pressure losses associated with the long hose runs, these machines can continue to supply high nozzle pressure even when hose lengths would normally result in low pressure at the nozzle. The contractor, high pressure blast machines are ideal for use with high capacity compressors and long hose length applications such as those found in many construction sites and shipyards. Media valve setting Compressor capacity and nozzle sizes generate the working pressure at the nozzle for optimum blasting. The media flow entering the air system is controlled by the media valve setting. Whichever design is chosen, the valve is designed to ensure the optimum air media mix to enter the blast hose. Using an open media valve will allow more media to enter the air stream in the hose. The weight of excess media reduces the air speed, which we will not necessarily affecting the nozzle pressure, will result in lower media speed at a nozzle. Lower media speed result in less cutting action from the abrasive and thus less blasting efficiency. Furthermore, when the system pressure is not optimally set, the media consumption will increase. As media costs are significantly part of the blasting process, then it vitally for the grid valve to be optimally set for the conditions. Changing the settings. There are five key variables that have significantly effect on productivity of the blasting process. Com compressor CFM, nozzle size, blast machine efficiency, hose length and conditions, media valve setting.